hi all welcome back to my channel in this video let's see how you can configure or set up selenium on your system if you are a beginner or even if you are an experience in selenium but not confident enough how to set up or configure selenium on your system so this video is for you to do the selenium configuration on your system you need the following things so you need java jdk you need eclipse ide then you have to create a workspace then inside your workspace you have to create a java project and then you have to create your package in class your java class and finally you have to download the jars and import those jars into your project so if you do all these steps your selenium configuration will be successful so let's begin so let me show you if i have java or not currently i do not have any java so let me show you that i am opening my command prompt so let me type java hyphen version so java is not recognized currently because it is not installed so let me download the java and install it on my system to download java so you have to type download java after that you have to click on this link java downloads from the oracle.com so click on this link once you click on this link you will get this page here you can see the java versions available currently java version is 18 you can see Java SC development kit 18.0.1.1 downloads available. So you have this Java download package available for many platforms like Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So since I'm using Windows, so I have to click on Windows. Then let me install this Java, this 64 installer. So this is a link. So I have to click on this particular link. Let me click on this link. So once I click on this link, so my Java installer is getting downloaded now. So here is my Java installer which I have just downloaded. So let me install this exe file. So my Java installation is about to start. So let me click on next. So this is going to be my uh, Java installation directory. So let me click on next. You can also change if you want to change. So I'm not changing. I'm just going with the default uh, the location. So let me click on next. So my Java is getting uh, downloaded now. You can see it is in progress. My Java development kit 18.0.1.1 64-bit successfully installed. Let me close this. Let me now verify the version. So my Java version 18.0.1.1 has been installed successfully. So let me show you if my Java is installed successfully or not. So for that I'm going to my C drive and then I'm going to program files. So here you can see there is a folder Java that got created after installation of Java. So let me click inside this folder. So you can see the JDK folder is created here. So my Java has installed successfully. So you can see all the files are available. Okay. So after installation of Java, the, my next goal is to download the Eclipse. As you can see here, I have written after Java, we have to have Eclipse. So let me download Eclipse. So you have to click on this Eclipse download link and then you can see the Eclipse version that is the current version 2022-06. So let me click on this download button. So you can see this is the download location. So let me click on download. So it is about to start. So my Eclipse installer is getting downloaded now. So here is my Eclipse installer. So let me open this Eclipse installer file. So you can see Eclipse installer is beginning. So here is my Eclipse installer pop up. Here there are so many options. So let me select Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So I'm going to install Eclipse now in this particular uh, directory. So this is taking my Eclipse installer path. You can see. So in, inside this, my Eclipse is going to install now. So let me install Eclipse. So here is the license agreement. Let me click on accept now. So installation is in progress. So the Eclipse has been installed successfully. As you can see, the launch button is coming up here. So let me launch this Eclipse now. So Eclipse is getting launched. By default, it is going to create the workspace. As you can see, this is going to create the workspace under my UC users, the username and the Eclipse workspace. I'm going to change this directory. So let me change the directory. Let me give a C and tutorial. So let me launch the Eclipse 
with this workspace, I'm creating the workspace now. As you can see, I'm creating the workspace. So let me select this workspace and click and click on launch. So my Eclipse is getting launched. So it will be launched with that particular workspace that I have given. So my Eclipse window has been launched now. So let me maximize this window. So as you can see, this is my uh, the welcome screen of uh, Eclipse. Uh, let me click on hide. Now I get the main Eclipse window where you can see there are a few options in the left. Create Java project, create a project and import project. So basically I'm going to uh, create a Java project now. Okay, so let me create a Java project. I'll click on Java project. So let me give uh, a, some sample name. Let me give a tutorial app. And I'm going to select the, uh, the execution environment JRE. So as you can see, the Java SC18 is selected by default uh, because uh, in my system, the Java JDK18 is already installed. Let me click on next. So let me click on finish. So my Java project has been created successfully. As you can see, the SRC folder source folder is also created here. So after that, I'm going to create a package. So my next step is creation of package and then creation of a class. So let me create a package now. So I'll click on this SRC folder and I'm going to click on package. So let me give a sample package name. I'm giving a, a name called sample. I'll click on finish. Then inside this package, I have to create a Java class. So let me create a Java class. So I'm just going to give a sample class name, Java class name. So for now, I'm going to select the public static void main, the Java main method here. Just for uh, configuring it, I'm just selecting this. I'll click on finish. So my Java class has been created successfully. Let me remove this line. So my next step is the Selenium jars I have to import into the project. So for that, I have to download all the Selenium jars. Let me go to the website again, download the Selenium jars. So you just type so download Selenium then. So this is the Selenium official website. So you have to click on download Selenium. After that, you can see the latest stable version is 4.3.0. So let me go to the complete list of uh, downloads. So here is the complete list of downloads. You can see the Selenium releases, the previous releases. So let me click on this link. So here is the complete list of downloads of Selenium. So this is having the latest version also, the Selenium 4.3.0. Let me click on this link. So here you can see the Selenium server file, the 4.3.0.zip file. So let me click on this zip file. So as you can see, the Selenium server is getting downloaded. So my Selenium server zip file download is completed successfully. This file is already there in my system. So let me go to the downloaded location. So here is the Selenium 4.3.0. So this files I have to import into my project. So for that, let me right click on the project. So here is an option called build path. Click on the build path, then go to configure build path. Okay. So as you can see, Java 18 is uh, showing here because it's, because it is already installed on a machine. Here you, you can see module path and class path. You have to select the class path. Please do not select the module path. You might get error. I recommend you to select only the class path option here to import the jar files. Click on class path. Then click on add external jars. Then these are the jar files. As you can see, this is my uh, Selenium jar file location that I have kept. So here I have to select all the jar files that are downloaded. I'll click on open. After that, I have to import the other files as well. I'll click on class path again. I'll go to add external jars. Then I'll go to the lib, lib folder. Inside this also, there are so many jar files available. So let me select all of them and I'll click on open. So let me click on apply and I'll click on apply and close. So all my jar files are imported now. As you can see the reference libraries, this got created. So all these jar files I have imported now. Okay, so my Selenium uh, jar file import is successful. So basically I have completed all the six steps. So now I am ready to write my first code. That is how to launch the browser with the help of Selenium WebDriver. So let me start on that. I'm going to initialize the WebDriver, WebDriver driver. 
access to new Chrome driver. So I'm going to start. So I'm going to launch the Chrome browser with the help of Selenium web driver. So I have already created a detailed video regarding this. You may go and check my video. So you will get a complete idea about how to launch the browser with the Hello Selenium web driver and what is the importance of uh, those lines of code. So I'm just going to write a sample code again just for this explanation. So let me uh, remove these errors now. So since I have already imported the Selenium library, so I am able to import the Selenium web driver. Let me click on this import web driver. So my error is gone. Okay. So as you can see, this is created. So similarly, I can import the Chrome driver as well because I am going to launch the Chrome browser. So I am going to import the Chrome driver class here. Okay. So after that, I have to declare the system property here. System dot set property. And here I have to give the key value that is uh, web driver dot chrome dot driver and I have to give the part of my chrome driver exe so let me open my chrome driver path okay so let me paste it here I have to give the path till the extension make sure you write properly so this is written so let me run this code as a java application because test ng is not there so i have to run it as a java application and let's see whether the selenium web driver is able to launch the chrome browser or not with the help of chrome driver so it is able to launch the browser basically so let me launch the browser with some url so for that i'm going to use get string url so let me give www.google.com then let's run the program so it is able to launch the browser and able to navigate to google.com so basically my selenium setup is working successfully i have uh, completed all the steps i have downloaded java eclipse and created the workspace and then i have created this java project inside the java project i have created this package and then created a class that is myapp.java and then I have written a piece of code by initializing the web driver then I have created the object for the chrome driver class by giving the reference to the web driver then I have just used the driver.driver.cat to launch the chrome browser with some URL okay so I have also used the chrome driver exe file so as I said I have already created a detailed video regarding this you can go and see that video okay now I will do one thing I will remove the selenium reference libraries from the project and see whether my project gets error or not okay so I'll go to the project and I will click on build path then go to configure build path okay so after that I will remove all these jar files from the project let me remove all of them so I will click on remove I'll click on apply and apply and close so as soon as I remove the selenium jar files the project got errors okay you can see so it is not able to recognize the web driver okay it is not able to recognize the chrome driver class also the reason is I have removed all the selenium jar files so this kind of error you might get when you import some existing project uh, when you import your colleagues project so this kind of errors are very common so I would suggest not to get scared of those errors because uh, it could be because of one of the other problems so always see the problem debug the problem and see why the errors are coming okay so this is very common whenever when you are playing with selenium okay so let me bring back those uh, jar files again so i'll click on build path i'll go to configure build path class path click on add external jars then i'll go to i'm selecting all the jar files i'm clicking on open then again click on class path then click on add external jars then go to live folder then select all of them and click on open and apply and apply and close so once i have re-imported them so you can see all the errors are gone away now okay so even my reference libraries is also created here so this is how you can set up or configure your selenium on your system okay so we have covered all the six steps here so that's all about the video today if you have liked the video please hit the like button and share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel so i'll come up with a new video thank you thanks for watching